things maybe you should consider before getting a melon wall. They don't have an off switch. Definitely something you have to teach them. Joking aside, you really do have to teach them an off switch to slow them down. With a mountain wall, be prepared to put in a lot of time and training or be prepared to put out a lot of money for somebody else to do the training. Consider what you teach them. When they make you proud, their dedication is real. Thanks, dude. These dogs, in my personal opinion, are not for positive only trainers. Treats for all. If you do not control them, they will control you. Again, my own personal opinion. People say you have to run three miles. I've never ran a mile with either one of my dogs. You're lucky if I run to the mailbox and back. Understanding drive in a mountain wall is really important. They come in four modes. Low, medium, high, and excuse my language. It's experience over research. I think a lot of people tell you to research, research, research. Do you see what they're saying about you? And I think the more hands-on you have, which is experience, is tenfold better. No personal space. A little privacy would be nice. <laughs> I would suggest getting an eight-week-old puppy and getting it accustomed to growing up in your lifestyle. Nothing wrong with rescues. I'm a big fan of rescues, but you're going to put in a lot more time and effort with a broken mouth. There's a ton of considerations that we left out in this video. Honestly, a melon wall is not for everyone. It does not fit in every lifestyle, and it does not fit with every family. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Check us out on the next one.